Hi there, welcome to Wireless Solutions. If you are having trouble downloading apps on your iPhone, you are not alone. This can be frustrating, but don't worry. I am here to guide you through several steps you can take to resolve this issue. Let us go through a comprehensive troubleshooting process to get those apps downloading again. Step 1. Check your internet connection. First things first, let us make sure your internet connection is working properly, as a stable internet connection is essential for successfully downloading apps. Follow these steps to ensure your connection is up to the task. 1. Verify connection. Begin by checking whether you are connected to a stable Wi-Fi network or if you have a strong cellular signal. For Wi-Fi, confirm that you are within range of your router to ensure a good signal. If you are using cellular data, make sure you have a strong signal with enough bars showing on your device. A weak signal can significantly affect your download speeds and overall connectivity. Number 2. Switch Networks You notice that your connection seems weak or unreliable? Try switching from Wi-Fi to mobile data or vice versa. To do this, go to your device setting and turn off Wi-Fi to use cellular data or turn off cellular data to use Wi-Fi. Sometimes, changing your connection type can resolve issues that might be affecting your download process as different networks can have varying levels of performance. Number 3. Restart Router If you are on Wi-Fi and still experiencing unstable connectivity, it may help to restart your router. Unplug the router from the power source. Wait for about 10 seconds to let it fully power down, and then plug it back in. Allow the router a few minutes to reboot and reconnect. Restarting your router can often resolve connectivity issues by resetting the network and clearing any temporary glitches that may be affecting your internet connection. Step 2. Pause and resume the download Next, let us try a straightforward method to resolve the issue, pausing and then resuming the download. This simple trick can sometimes help kickstart the download process when things seem to stall. Here's how you can do it. Number 1. Find the app Start by locating the app that is having trouble downloading. You can find it in your home screen or within your app library. It may be showing a download progress bar or an indicator that it is in the process of being downloaded. Number 2. Pause the download Tap and hold the app icon until a menu with options appears on your screen. From this menu, select Pause Download. This action will temporarily stop the download process. Pausing the download can sometimes help to reset the process and resolve any issues that might be causing it to hang. Number 3. Resume the download After waiting for a few seconds, tap and hold the app icon once more. This will bring up the same menu. This time, select Resume Download to restart the download process. By resuming the download, you are allowing the app to continue where it left off. This step can often help to get the download moving smoothly again, especially if it was previously stuck or delayed. Step 3. Restart your iPhone If pausing and resuming the download didn't fix the issue, performing a quick restart of your iPhone might help resolve the problem. Restarting your device can clear temporary software glitches and refresh its performance. Here's how to restart your iPhone. 1. Initiate Restart To begin the restart process, Press and hold the side button, and if your iPhone has Face ID, also press and hold one of the volume buttons simultaneously. Hold both buttons until the slide to power off slider appears on your screen. This slider allows you to turn off your iPhone. Number 2. Turn off your iPhone Wipe the slide to power off slider from left to right to turn off your iPhone. This action will power down your device completely. Make sure to wait until the screen goes completely dark indicating that the device has fully shut down. Number 3. Wait and Restart After turning off your iPhone, wait for a few seconds to ensure that it has had enough time to power down completely. Once you have waited, press and hold the side button again until you see the Apple logo appears on your screen. Release the button once you see the logo, and your iPhone will begin to restart. Restarting your device can help clear any minor software issues and improve its performance potentially resolving the problem with downloading apps. Step 4. Check your Apple ID and payment method If you are still encountering issues with downloading apps, it is possible that there could be a problem with your Apple ID or payment method. Follow these steps to ensure everything is in order. Number 1. 
contact your Apple ID. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Look for the section where your Apple ID should be listed. Verify that you are signed in with the correct Apple ID. If you are not signed in, or if the Apple ID listed is incorrect, you will need to sign in with the appropriate account. To sign in, tap on Sign In and enter the credentials for your Apple ID. Number 2. Update Payment Information Return to the main settings screen and tap on your name at the top. Next, select Payment and Shipping. This will take you to a section where you can manage your payment methods. Review the payment details listed to ensure that they are up to date. Check that your credit or debit card information is correct and make sure that there are no issues with your payment method that could be causing problems. If you need to update your payment method, tap on Add Payment Method to enter new information or tap on an existing payment method to edit it. Ensure that your billing address is also correct and matches the address associated with your payment method. Step 5. Free App Storage Space To successfully download and install apps, your iPhone needs to have enough available storage space. If your device is running low on storage, you might experience issues with downloading apps. Follow the steps to check and manage your storage. Number 1. Check your storage. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on General and then select iPhone Storage. This will display a breakdown of your device storage usage. You will see a visual representation of how much storage is available, as well as a list of apps and the amount of storage they are using. Review this list to understand where your storage is being used and how much space is left. Number 2. Manage your storage. Delete unnecessary items. If you're running low on storage, consider freeing up space by deleting items you no longer need. You can remove apps, photos, videos, and other files. To delete an app, go to the iPhone storage list. Tap on the app you want to remove and select Delete App. For photos and videos, you can go to the Photos app and delete items manually. Offload and use apps. If you prefer not to delete apps but still need to free up space, you can use the Offload and Use Apps feature. This will remove the app but keep its data, so you can reinstall it later without losing any information. To enable this, go to Settings, tap General, then iPhone Storage, and select Offload and Use Apps. Toggle the feature on or manually offload specific apps from the list. Step number 6. Update iOS An outdated iOS version can sometimes cause issues with downloading apps. Keeping your iPhone software up to date ensures that it remains compatible with the latest apps and features. Follow these steps to check for and install any available iOS updates. Number 1. Check for updates. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Tap on General and then select Software Update. Your iPhone will automatically check for any available updates. If your device is running the latest version of iOS, you will see a message indicating that your software is up to date. Number 2. Install Updates If an update is available, you will see a description of the update along with an option to download and install. Tap on this option to start the update process. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the download and installation. Depending on the size of the update and your internet connection speed, this process may take some time. Ensure your iPhone is connected to a reliable Wi-Fi network and has sufficient battery life or is connected to a power source during the update. Once the update has been downloaded, your iPhone will prompt you to install it. Tap Install Now to proceed. Your device will restart during the installation process, which may take several minutes. And there you have it. Your app should now be downloading without any issues. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and happy downloading!